What's going on, y'all? Oh, I look tired as fuck. Okay, well, I am, but oh well. That's life. <laughs> so, my wide season, what is it? Season 5, episode, not no episode, fucking reunion part 1. Hosted by Vivica Fox. Okay, I'm sitting here like, Vivica fucking Fox. First of all, Vivica looks good on this reunion. She's back to, she looking damn near like her original face, for real. And I ain't trying to be shady, but she looking real good on this reunion, you know. And, um, she looking like her younger days a little bit. I was like, okay. First they got Monique hosting the real, uh, uh, the, the love and hip hop. Now you got Vivica. I mean, I guess do, do what the fuck you gotta do, what you can afford. But, um, <laughs> I'm just saying. So, um. The reunion start off with them talking about Karen and her being back and, you know, Renee feeling like, well, after all the bullshit that was going on, it was finally good and nice that she had a, um, a ally, you know, and Karen was basically saying Arizona is her second home, but she wanted to be back in Staten Island and she wanted to be out there because of her boyfriend and all the other stuff and, you know, let Karina see what shit is all about, yada, yada, yada. Big Ann said she ain't had no problem with it. Then they got into the issue between her and Natalie because everybody was on the stage except for Natalie D. So basically Natalie was like, her shit came from the fact that she's in line with Alicia. You know, Alicia was on that last year and... She was in limbo about whether or not she was going to be going to jail. And the reason why Alicia don't like Karen or her her father or whatever, because Karen's father, Sammy the Bull, killed um, Alicia's husband, Alicia's father-in-law. There you go. And <laughs> Renee was like a man that she never met. And I was like, okay, I get it, but why? Like, like everybody said, how can you take out the sins of the father on the child? Okay, that ain't got shit to do with um Karen. Karen probably wasn't even alive when or or wasn't even knowledgeable of what was going on when that happened. So just because her father is the one that did all this shit, how are you just gonna keep on calling her rat and keep on, you know, putting all this bullshit on her? Did she pull the trigger? Did she do that? No, she didn't. So it's just really pointless and childish and all that bullshit. Then they started talking about um the beef between um Big Ange and Renee. And all boils down to you talk about my family. That's when I get heated. And they was like, how did you feel seeing Big Ants like that? When they asked Natalie that, she was like, I've never seen Big Ants like that. But thank you. Thank you for defending me. And Renee and me went at the same time like, bitch, that scene wasn't about you. That was about Renee and her. And, you know, they started talking about their drama how their beef came about when Renee was saying that Natalie took it to Twitter, calling her a cokehead, and that's when her son saw it, and that's what really pissed her off, and you know, the same old shit. And I'm just like, oh, Lord. We ain't gonna get nothing resolved. Child, they done brought Landon and Storm out. They talking about Storm and Karen's relationship, talking about they love fight, everybody wanna go down the line, how they would've handled the situation, you know, we don't fuck with bitches like that, you would've brought that bitch in the house, I would've beat that bitch ass, you know, fine, whatever. Fuck them, they still together. They look cute together, I say that all the time. Storm with his light-skinned ass, you know, I said this before, I don't know if I said it before, but he looked like a cuter Biz Marquis, a taller, cuter Biz Marquis, if you ask me. Go look up Biz Marquis. You say you just a friend. You know, go look him up. But for you young ones that don't know shit about music, you know, real music. Moving on, they got London out there too. Now, let me tell you something. London, London body is shaped like he, like his looks are so deceiving. Like underneath all those clothes, you would think that they're he's very fucking muscular. But you could tell that he's not. But you could tell that he kind of used to go hard in the gym, but he just slacking off a little bit. And, you know, his clothes are extra tight. His clothes are always tight. He was sitting there, and that shirt was about to bust, okay? That pink shirt was about to bust. And I'm just sitting here like, unbuckle that one lonely button on that vest before it pop and hit Vivica in her eye, all right? You got Natalie with her tits all out. Granted, when Vivica said, Natalie, girl, you look cute. Look at that dress. Got me wanting to put my tits up. Renee was over there like, Bitch. I said, girl, stop playing because the girl didn't look cute. You know, Big Ange had her titties out, too. You know, Big Ange can't help but have her titties out, but it is what it is. Um, After that, you know, they started talking about their relationship, going through the motions, yada, yada, yada. 
fuck all that. They still together, you know, they still doing the same thing that they doing. Then they start talking about um the fact that London got scarred up, you know, he got sliced. And he was like, it wasn't no fight. He was just chilling at the club. Some motherfucker came up to him with a box cutter and just sliced him out of, out of the blue. And I'm like, for no damn reason, it wasn't no camera crew around or nothing to get this on tape to get some stuff or whatever. What's, what, what was the real reason? But, okay, you know, niggas be hating, I guess. And they was like, so Natalie, they were saying that you was doing a lot of stuff for attention because you put this shit up on social media, the the scars, you know, the the, the, the cut. The injury, you know, and in one of your pictures, you had the dude that um actually did it in there. And she was like, yeah, I did that, you know, because I was working with in conjunction with the Crime Stoppers or whatever the fuck to get this guy. And, you know, we reached out and, you know, we was able to get him or some shit like that. Mind you, Natalie talking all about this rat shit. And this, I'm, ta- I'm saying this from the mi- mentality of the mob, okay? I don't necessarily agree. But from the mentality of the mob, and obviously Storm didn't fuck that pussy before, you know, for a long time, that he agrees with the same thing. He's about that street life. And on the street life, you don't say shit. You handle that shit within, okay? You know, we don't get the cops involved. We do that shit on our own. And so Storm just start busting up laughing. And he like basically, bruh. That's some red ass shit you getting the cops involved, you getting crime stopping involved, you don't do shit like that. That's a fucking rat. Of course, you know, Natalie wanna say, you know, you don't you 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 fucking with a rat or whatever and stuff like that. And I'm like, girl, get your facts straight. But, you know, <laughs> London come from it the way that I was looking at. He was like, bitch, a rat is when a motherfucker do something illegal and then they get caught up. And then they rat out the mother somebody else so they can um you know get a lesser sentence or whatever the fuck. Something just dropped. The fuck? And I was just like, okay, I see what you're saying. And Storm like, bitch, that's the matter of your opinion. That's your opinion. I was like, yeah, that's his opinion. And your opinion is the complete opposite. And, you know, both all of them were stupid as fuck. These grown ass people. I just hope. I just hope nothing really, really ever happens that they actually need to call the cops for because it seems like just because you call the cops, don't let your house get on fire because I'm pretty sure you're probably going to be like, bitch, um, if I got to call the cops to get this fire start, uh, to stop, we just going to burn. We just going to burn. The fuck? You know, all this no snitching and, girl, some situations you need to call the cop. But given this mob mentality, they like, Bitch, that was a bitch move, okay? We handle this shit on our own. We're going to tell Uncle this and Cousin Vinny, and we're going to get this shit done. I was just like, okay, okay. Y'all going to duke this shit out? Vivica had to tell them to shut the fuck up and let's go to commercial. I was like, please do. They still talking about who was a rat. Vivica, you know, told um, London, girl, just sit there and your pain can be happy. I said, oops, okay. You know, but... Drita was basically like, when London said that stuff about what a rat is to him, she gets the reason why he would call the cops. She's not surprised because he's a regular guy in the real world, not in his mob mentality, not in his mob lifestyle. And so, therefore, working a nine to five, and you will call the cops. So, you know, it is what it is. Then they started talking about um this little issue that they had between Karen and, um you know, Storm and uh Natalie and all that shit. And London had to put it out there that basically they didn't have no issue. It's just that Natalie takes stuff the wrong way. She looks at it her own self, you know, have her own point of view and expects him to do stuff. And, you know, Storm was getting pissed off about shit. And he was just cussing and all this stuff. And he go, London, watch the way that you don't, don't, don't talk like that when you address my girl. Okay. Don't do that. Storm said, motherfucker, I say anything what the fuck I want to say, my nigga. And then it was like, don't say the N-word. I said, y'all, y'all cuss and do all this shit. And, 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 girl, just shut up. Natalie said her, um, brother or cousin or somebody in her family is a detective or whatever the fuck. But the whole thing came down in segment was, you keep on talking about people, rats and stuff like that. But yet you're a fucking wa- a walking contradiction, um, Natalie, Okay. You do stuff, you were talking about, well, Storm, you fucking with a rat. And then you also with London, who will call the cops in a minute, too. So, therefore, y'all in the same damn situation. So, what the fuck? You know, it was just stupid. It's just so fucking stupid. 
<laughs> Karen talking about some, you know, because Drita kind of called um, Natalie out on, you know, talking about people, family and shit like that. And she was like, you know, I'm not here for that. And Karen was like, but yet you was cool with the person who was talking about people, family. She was like, bitch, you talked about my family. You talked about this. Karen was like, since when? Since when? I said, oh, Lord. So this is when y'all finna fight. But it's just repetitive and it's just dumb. Get the fuck over it and move on. I just don't understand what it is. I guess because if you want to stay on this show and get a paycheck, you got to talk shit about each other and stay in each other's lives because you couldn't pay me enough to be, you know, this damn overworked over somebody that I don't give a fuck about. If I don't give a fuck about you, it's cut you off and move the fuck on. You know, I done done that shit and a whole bunch of good things that happened out the war. So, you know, it is what it is. They just love the drama, I guess. So they talked about Victoria Gotti coming in and basically Renee was like, when she first saw her, she was like, what the fuck and who the fuck and why the fuck, you know, because she had never really met her and she like, why does she, why is she in my business? But she was thankful for it because, you know, it helped them out. But the shade was when Renee said, you know, cause, um, Vivica introduced her as the boss of all bosses or some shit. <laughs> Renee said, she ain't no boss, okay? She ain't no, she may be the boss of her family, but she ain't no boss of us. And we the boss in our own rights and shit like that. I said, oops, okay. So, um, you know, and then they start talking about their issues that v Victoria may have had with, um, you know, Karen. And Karen is like, she don't have no issues with her and she know what it is, but she don't care what Victoria may have, may think about her. And if, she wanted to sit down and have a conversation and discuss all this. She'll be ready for it. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, you do what you got to do. They started talking about that fight between Natalie and um Karen and all that stuff. And, you know, who won it? Why did it happen? Natalie like, ooh, they might be jealous of me and all this shit. And Karen and them like, bitch, ain't nobody jealous. You cute and all, but when you open up your mouth, you say dumb shit. So it makes you ugly as fuck. And I was like, I agree. And it was irking me. And I'm so glad Karen told Renee, shut the fuck up because she's talking to me. And Renee said, oh, okay, you know, because Renee would interject and Karen be trying to talk. And this was throughout the whole damn reunion and say some shit. And I'm like, shut up, Renee. It ain't about you. But next thing you know, they going back and forth about who would dead be, who this and who said what. And all of a sudden... You know, Karen was like, and bitch, you a fucking racist. If I'm a rat, bitch, you a racist. And I said, oh, you know, because I've been hearing a whole bunch of shit, you know, saying that, you know, Natalie can't stand black people, you know, which makes me wonder when they had that episode uh, when Natalie was having that housewarming party and there was some niggas up in the house, you know, when they was in New York. I was like, hmm, so how is she a racist? And then I was like, if everybody's saying this, I mean, it could be staffed by VH1, you know, some extras or whatever, but... Oh, okay. And Karen was like, and my daughter is black and this and that, and you a fucking racist bitch, you this. I said, oops, cut to commercial, bitch, because that's, that's exactly what they needed. So basically, they said, you know, Natalie, her mouth warns the reaction that it gets because she spit some vile shit, you know. And Renee was just like, sometimes it's like, I just be wanting to tell you to shut the fuck up. That's why I want to knock your ass out to shut you up. Natty like, I'm tired of being on this bitch. And I come on here and everybody want to tell me what to do and yada, yada, yada. And then Karen goes back to the, you know, the black thing and all that shit. And, you know, you, you being racist and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. Child, y'all tell me how y'all felt about this reunion. To be quite honest, this first part was fucking redundant. And, um, Natalie didn't come dressed to fight. You, she wasn't, she wasn't trying to fight nobody because her titties was all out. You know, she just came in to make a fashion statement, if you ask me. So, you know, it is what it is. Nat D going to be on next part, and then I guess it's going to be a fight. So, y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.